Hello everyone, thank you very much that you found the time and you joined our session today. Uh, I want to present you what are our plans for 2022 and I really hope that you will enjoy it. This disclaimer is here because we are making forward looking statements during this webinar and those are subject to change. So let me share with you today's agenda, how it will look like. First, I will introduce you what is our vision for the future. Then I will make a brief introduction into our portfolio, especially for those of you who don't know us well yet. And in case you will be interested more in some particular pro product, just let us know and we'll prepare a separate session for you. Just after that, we will go through the detailed roadmap and uh, I will show you what new features we will bring in next nine months. And as the last topic today, I want to introduce you some of our sales and marketing initiatives. Okay, so let's go to the first session, which is vision and future of GFI software. Many of you have most probably heard that GFI has been going uh, through transitions. And the transition has really happened. And it happened in the way how it was internally structured. So GFI is part of a much larger company, and it has been now for several years already. And this company is called ESW Capital. ESW stands for an enterprise software, and it's Austin, Texas-based company. And it has the roots uh, within the Trilogy software um, back in 1989. So it's practically 33 years on the market already. So ESW Capital is the parent, and under it is number of different business units like Aurea, DevGraph, Skyvera, and Ignitech. And particularly Ignitech is relevant to mention because GFI software is now under leadership of Ignitech, but still stays as 100% channel company uh, based on focus on SMB business. In GFI, we focus now on stabilizing the processes which you depend on. Uh, but by stability, we also mean our, uh, the product management, the product innovation, also the product delivery. So this is really important because we, of course, want to grow the business. And in fact, the GFI uh, business unit has something unique which differs uh, us from, from the other business units within ESW Capital. And that uniqueness is the channel. So our partners like you. Uh, and we want to uh, give you all needed assets that we are able to grow together. The vision for next years is that we want to be really an industry leader in IT uh, solutions for the SMB marketplace. That's absolutely our focus. And we really strongly believe that we can be there. With the internal changes, we have decided to do also changes of our branding. So that it has even bigger impact and that the brand is much more recognized. So we are morphing everything from the naming convention to the colors to even our new logo. And let me change uh, the logo even in, in my background. Okay. So the new logo is there. But it's not only about the logo of the company, we have changed also the branding of all products within our portfolio. So what you actually see is branded alphabet for all products. And all products are called uh, GFI. So GFI Archiver, GFI Helpdesk, GFI Kerio Connect, GFI Exinda. We introduced it for the first time on the channel webinar last week. And in next days, we will change it to the on the website and also on all branded material. So really stay tuned. We, you will see the changes coming soon. Now I want to briefly introduce you our product portfolio. Our products cover critical and also non-critical infrastructure, so it allows you uh, to be um, so it allows us to be kind of a one-stop shop for our customers and also for our partners, because through the combination of different GFI products, you can get reliable solutions of the different IT tools critical for the the SMP business. And GFI products are managing network security and communication. So under network tools, we have Exinda Network Orchestrator and SDVAN. Exinda Network Orchestrator provides end-to-end -end management of both the network and the cloud to achieve the best possible quality of service. And it also enables you to shape your network and prioritize 
different business critical, critical applications which are running in there. SD-WAN, it acts like a network router uh, which can monitor, detect, and adapt against the fluctuations in your ISP performance. And also it can easily add a bandwidth whenever you need it. Under communication, we do have four products. First of them is GFI Archiver. GFI Archiver enables users to centrally archive, store, search copies of internal and external email flow, and also files, attachments, and calendar entries in one central secure location. It also helps to sync files across multiple machines and enable team sharing practices. Kerio Connect is our well-known mail server with instant messaging, calendar, task management. It's absolutely user-friendly and really ready to use within 20 minutes. Then our well-known and famous GFI fax maker. The, this is a leading fax server that, automa that automates faxing. So it's practically a paper-free process that enables users to send and receive fax directly from email or other integrated applications. Maybe you are questioning yourself why we still have GFI, uh, why we still have faxing in our portfolio. But I can tell you that this is a really strong product still. And it's especially popular in the uh, United States and also German-speaking countries where, where they seem Simply believe that faxing is one of the, still one of the uh, most secure way of communication. So, and the last in the group is GFI Helpdesk. GFI Helpdesk is our ticketing helpdesk tool for managing customer care, technical support requests, but it also is perfect for internal communication and task management. Uh, what is also good is that it provides a live chat and a knowledge base, so you can communicate online and live with uh, your customers. Uh, another advantage is that customer-facing environment can be translated into any local language. And under security tools, we have GFI Langard. GFI Langard acts as a, a virtual security consultant that provides a complete picture of your network. It allows you to scan and detect any security vulnerabilities in your network and also connected devices. Then there is a Kerio control. Kerio control is next generation firewall, including a router, intrusion prevention system, antivirus, VPN, reporting, and web content and filtering uh, uh, of the applications. And the last but not least is GFI Mail Essentials an award-winning SMTP gateway. It protects the business email flow and infrastructure by blocking malicious and spam emails. So practically it, uh, it, it maintains your inbox clean and safe. Uh, next slides, which I want to show you will be dedicated to the example of the solution, which you can create by combination of our products. Because you maybe look on that and tell yourself, okay, they have nine products. And what now, how I will offer them to the customers. So the combination which I have chosen is for the purpose, because the topic is extremely important for a long time, but especially these days. Most probably you will agree that cybersecurity is really big topic these days. World Economic Forum reported in the recent Global Risk Report for 2022 that cybersecurity is for the first time in the history, in the first place, from technological threats recognized as the risk which worsened the most from uh, COVID-19 started. So over the last almost two years, industries have undergone really rapid digitalization. Workers have shifted to remote working and platforms are, uh, have shifted into the cloud. So this has opened new ways for cyber attacks which is visible also on the big numbers uh, of the ransomware attacks. So the ransomware attacks have, uh, have increased by 435%. Those uh, attacks are much more aggressive, of course, and the risks are, are much higher because uh, especially when the data are aggregated in the cloud. 
So cyberspace is used as kind of another battlefield. I'm sure you have heard uh, about the incidents which happened recently and which are related also to really sad situation uh, in Ukraine, where tensions are culminated also in a cyber sphere. So several banks uh, in Ukraine and also government departments face massive DDoS attacks. Or maybe you also heard about re very recent Red Cross uh, organization data breach, which happened um, there and more than 500,000 people uh, data have been attacked. But as our main uh, focus is SMB, let's have a look on security concerns of SMB businesses. So SMB customers are facing the same issues as enterprise businesses. The main difference is the height of the budget or the size of the budget, but uh, they need to secure the same con uh, conditions as enterprises because um, they want to they want to uh, cooperate with uh, with big organizations. So they need to be secured. They need to uh, have secured communication and all the all the uh, systems which they are communicating with the, with the, uh, these external big organizations. So they need to uh, have secure remote working, they need to have secure access to the company data and so on. Uh, but because the, the budget is lower, many SMB companies are skipping this uh, cybersecurity. And this is a really a big mistake. And it's visible in that, that more than 50% 50, 50 of cyber attacks are targeted against SMB. Uh, so our network security solution is composed from different uh, number of different products. And those products are carrier control, GFI Vanguard, and GFI Mail Essentials. Any vendor can say uh, that their product is 100% secure and undefeated, but it's simply not true. But we know that the best security solution is multi-layer solution, right? Uh, so if we combine several layers of, of uh, security, our cyberspace becomes simply less attractive and hardly beatable for potential attacker. So we need to think about minimum, minimum three layers of security. Of course, more is better, but bare minimum is three. First layer is protecting ourselves from outside. Second is to protect the traffic moving inside our network. And the third is about our endpoints. And the best is if it's designed for SMBs, so it can be really easy to use and affordable. So let's see what kind of technologies we have under the hood. We have got a firewall with antivirus, traffic filtering. We are protecting emails with additional antivirus engines. We have got a vulnerability and patch management. We have got a threat level reporting and auditing. So simply by combining different of our products, we get great multi-layer security of the network. And this layer is very competitive comparing to other players on the market. Uh, the reason is that some players are good in some things, right? So uh, one vendor is perfect in uh, firewall, but is missing page management. Another is great in page management, but simply doesn't have a firewall. So here, uh, it, the the so so you are pushed to somehow combine different vendors in case you want to prepare this multi-layer security solution. Uh, but this means that these um, different vendors uh, product products are not communicating each other. Uh, so by choosing the products from our portfolio, you can get really reliable security solution and also co combined from the products which can communicate each other to some level. And during the next month, we will really be focusing on the, in in, on the further integration between our products so they will communicate even better. Okay, by this, we come to the next session where I would like to give you an insight into our product team's strategy and also focus in 2022 and what we will be delivering in terms of new product releases and new innovations in 2022. Uh, I have to say that uh, GFI is under new leadership for like 
five, six months, and there's a lot of work already done. Uh, the roadmap, which I will show you, is a version 1.0. So practically it means that it's under progress. It's the first version, and we are constantly reviewing and, and progressing, and we want to provide you an update each quarter uh, so uh, that we can revise and extend the roadmap. By revising, we don't think uh, removing something from the roadmap, but more on adding uh, features or maybe shifting that something what we plan for Q4, maybe we will move it to Q Q3 because your feedback will be that it that it is much more critical for uh, the business than uh, another feature which uh, was placed in Q3. Before we are getting to the roadmap and the releases itself, I want to talk about our approach uh, to the product management as this is a change comparing to how it worked a year before. So we've identified four fundamental uh, foundations on which we want to build our product strategy. The first one is certification and compatibility. So uh, this is not maybe the most attractive one, but it's critically needed for our placement on the marketplace. This is the insurance that our products work with the third party systems. So it means operating systems and also APIs. And historically, we have to admit that GFI has been more reactive. So we were adapting after the change came. But in 2022, we want to change this to the proactive approach. So as the new releases will be announced, we want to already test them ahead of time and have our versions uh, ready uh, and available when the, the third party system will be released. And actually, we will have a dedicated team for that. So it means that they won't do anything else, just taking care that we are compatible uh, to these OSs and APIs. The second area of our focus is performance and ease of use. It's really important that our products meet the user performance and meet the user's expectations. So uh, search capabilities, traffic through throughput in firewall, import, export performance, and so on. Our products are known also in the marketplace for their simplicity in terms of installation and ease of use. And this is what we want to maintain because this is differentiating us from the competition. And the next two areas are cross-product integration and innovation and also new products. And those areas uh, are, are those where we put really significant investment in this year. And we will focus on integration between our products. Here I just want to revise what was delivered in the last three months and what we were finally able to deliver. Uh, and it was Karyocon 94, Langar 126, Exinda 751, and Karyo Control 94 currently in beta version. So all of this was delivered within uh, three months. And here is the summary of the roadmap. On next slides, I will explain you uh, the, the updates for every product. This is uh, here just uh, to show you that we want to really uh, regularly release new versions every quarter. So let me now go more deeper into the particular releases. So first of all, we do have here Kerio Connect. The 9 for release was published on January. Prior to that, there was a version uh, which was fixing log4j vulnerability. So it was like a quick version because we needed to uh, answer quickly on that vulnerability which was on the market, recognized like in December. Uh, Carrier Connect 9.4 contains these new features. So two-factor authentication, uh, integrate, integrated Let's Encrypt certificate, which was really a frustration for the partners and customers because they needed to update them every three months for free or they needed to purchase it every year. So it, 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 it was um, sim simply additional cost for the, for the customers. Uh, and also the, another significant uh, change was the ability to do TLS version selection in user interface. And plus we have been fixing more than 40 bucks uh, from the previous versions. Today, there will be released another version, Kerio Connect 941, which is fixing some additional minor issues. And during the, the year, there will be another two focus areas in Kerio Connect. First is on COF. 
an Outlook plugin, as Outlook is the most used third-party email client. Um, we have to say that current performance is not what we um, are satisfied with. Uh, we need to achieve better integration with third-party client, and this release will fix poor performance, particularly speed of search and also some new capabilities. So the second one is the support of new ActiveSync. Uh, this uh, extension, I mean ActiveSync, is used by 90% of our customers. So uh, the, the update to the new version, they will really appreciate, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, and from new features perspective, there will be also added draft folder sync, calendar attachments, better image support, and so on. In Kerio Control, we have released a beta version 9.4 to our beta community last week. And if there will, won't be any significant issue, we will publish the release in next two weeks. Uh, Kerio Control 9.4 is built on new kernel, so Debian Buster, and it will have a new two-factor authentication token expiration, uh, and also new HTTPS redirect for reverse proxy. For next release in Q2, we are planning three things. I think the first one is very, can be very interesting for those of you, especially who are planning to be an MSP or who already are an MSP uh, provider. And this is a firewall as a service. It's a new way to sell uh, carrier control uh, we, uh, by supporting our MSP partners, and it will bring also new monthly pay-as-you-go uh, licensing model with the backend system, which will uh, be able to support monthly billing and also, and also reporting. This new model will be available for our partners during Q2. To be more realistic, I would say the second half of, of Q2. Uh, we have um, one meeting with Zebra. We are planning in the, at the end of April. And we really hope, I really hope that I will be able to present first version of this product already there. Because this, this uh, event will be especially, uh, especially uh, focused on, on MSP business. Uh, the next thing what we want to bring in Q2 is make VPN client. This is something what we have to do because Apple is changing the client, so we need to adapt the control to it. Uh, but what is really uh, like important to mention is that we are going to improve IPS engine. IPS is kind of like hard of secure, uh, hard of care, carrier security. So by this, we will really significantly improve performance of carrier control, and it will also support a multi-threading, uh, which will completely empower the product. But the really uh, added value, what we bring here, is the better performance and higher supported bandwidth, what was many time kind of limitation for you. And then in Q3, we want to bring DDoS protection. So better tools and measures against DDoS attacks. And together with this, uh, we, will we will add GeoIP filtering in firewall rules. Uh, I, I can say that this was really uh, strongly uh, requested by different partners uh, from on the market. On GFI Langard, we've released a version 12.6 in February, and it included an Apache update uh, to address some security concerns, and also an update to Windows 2019 and SQL 2019 setup configuration. And we are adding also more than 20 bug fixes. Looking forward to GFI Langard, the most important thing, what we will do this year, is a support for remote workers which is one, one client support. So in COVID and post-COVID world, everybody who work remotely needs a patch management and vulnerability assessment. But today, Langard is not able to see missing patch of the remote worker unless he is connected to the VPN. So this capability will be significant and it's very demanded by many customers. On GFML Essentials, what we need to do is embed an SMTP server uh, and remove dependency on Windows Server SMT, um, SMTP server. Because Microsoft has deprecated uh, the support of these servers uh, 
And also Microsoft SMTP server does not, not support TLS 1.3, which is really critical for our customers. On Archiver, we are going to deliver two things. One is improvement to our import export tool within a product. This is really critical, and we believe we can bring some significant improvements and increase the existing capabilities, in, including performance. And the second thing is new thing. It's a new mail synchronization with Karyo Connect. Uh, so it means that it, will, uh, it is really required thing from the customers for a long time. And finally, this will be delivered in Q3 this year. So this will bring much tighter integration between two of, of our products, which will enable uh, to pull historical emails out of Kerio Connect to GFI Archiver. So this uh, really gives an opportunity to also you to make an upsell or cross-sell. Uh, and sell our uh, archiver to Kerio Connect customers. On FaxMaker, we will release a maintenance release with some important updates. So there won't be any significant new features as this product is simply somehow good as it is, but we will bring uh, uh, a maintenance, maintenance features. On Exinda, Exinda is primarily targeted uh, for our enterprise customers. It's not really SMB uh, product. Uh, so we've released a new version of Exinda in February, which added the update of 600 new applications. For Exinda to recognize the applications is really critical thing. And now from the application recognition, this product is the top product worldwide. Uh, what we do with Exinda differently this year is that we will provide a release every single year. It will be mainly about the uh, uh, classification engine updates, but uh, it will be updated every quarter. But the other exciting thing about Exinda is a new flavor of Exinda, which is now called Exinda Lite. Exinda Lite is, is from the perspective of pricing, packaging, deployment, more targeted for SMB business. So it may have all major features, which have also enterprise version, but it will be more tailored for smaller SMB customers. The new SKU will be released in Q2. Uh, so um, I hope that you, you, are, you are really um, eager to know more about this. So we will spread more information about the details of this product during, during next weeks. So uh, this was the first insight into our product roadmap. And as I have mentioned uh, several times today, we will update the roadmap uh, every quarter. Uh, but now to wrap up the session uh, about the product updates, I would like to show you something from the group of innovation, which is something what is super excited and very interesting. And we are making a huge investment into it this year. This new thing is called now an app manager. Mm, this name is not maybe the best one, but uh, it, we will change it. But for now, as an internal uh, name, we, we call it app manager. Uh, the proof of concept for the feedback will, will, will be available in a couple of weeks in Q2. Uh, today, our products uh, have multiple dashboards. So customer having more products from us has to use a separate dashboard for almost every product. So we have MyCario for Cario products. We have uh, Exinda Management Center for Exinda. We have Langard, a management console, etc. All these management consoles are different. They look different and they have different capabilities. What we are going to do in 2022 is to unify those, uh, those consoles into one single app manager dashboard, right? So really single pane of glass. Uh, so what does it mean for customers or you uh, becoming an SMP is that you will be able to manage configure and see the statistics of all products installed, not only for those which have management dashboard today, but for entire product portfolio. So it can be Archiver, Mail Essentials, Exinda, Langard, Control, Connect, etc. We already made some significant progress as we started at the end of 2021. And the 
the goal that that's why we will have it ready in q2 already and uh the 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 goal to have this app manager was come uh, is is simply this unified the experience of the products enable the management of the products which don't have the capability now and also support our msp partners so they can monitor the usage they can support uh the provisioning of the product as a service and also uh, this app manager will be uh, available also for the products which will be added to the portfolio. So it means that once we will have some new product in the portfolio, we will add uh, this product to this app manager. So uh, what you currently see is the main dashboard with all of your customers, right? So you can see some alpha group uh, customer with five active appliances. Uh, you, you see played against sports with one active appliances and so on. And then if you click on particular, uh, particular uh, customer, you see uh, what kind of appliances they have, right? So this alpha group limited, they have five appliances. Out of it, uh, two are controls, one is connect, one is archiver, one is langard, right? And I see uh, whether they are kind of healthy, what is the notification uh, coming from those products, so whether it is critical or just informative and so on. And uh, you can see also the statistics. This is the dashboard which can be configurable, so you can change uh to you know different type of data what you will see uh but you you see here let's say uh out of langard how many audited computers uh, uh have been in the network what is the vulnerability trend maybe you will see how many spam uh, emails uh, you have received uh from Cario connect uh how is the disk used what is the email flow uh, in archiver and so on and so on. And uh, uh, here you can see this is particularly important because uh, there is a, the, the tab notifications and under notifications, you can really see different type of notifications which uh, are uh, alerted from the products. So you will, you and there are, different, there are different categories. So we will see that whether they are critical or they're just informative, or uh, they needed attention, right? So you need to do some steps. Uh, now I'm going to share with you some of our sales and marketing initiatives, which we prepared. As a sales organization, we are not investing only to the products, but we are investing also to the people. And we want to collaborate with you more than last years, and we want to listen and also to share the good experience. So we decided to introduce you these initiatives, which I, which I will show you now. Uh, first of them is best practices webinars. This is the idea to uh, prepare co-hosted webinars with you, our partners. So everyone who will be interested in co-hosting uh, such webinar, uh, please let us know you are invited. We have already started a few sessions in US and we see that there is much bigger interest and much higher attendance on our webinars comparing to the GFI solo hosted webinars. These webinars should be mainly for sharing the best practices from region to region so that our partners can be motivated and get some business ideas how to approach customers in their territory. So we will practically build some library of business ideas which you can use and inspire your business uh, by them. Uh, the, we are preparing Road to MSP webinar. This one will be open for registration soon. So we will share with you which products of our portfolio will be available for MSPs. And I hope that uh, we will be able to share all relevant details about firewall as a service, but also other products on that webinar. Uh, and one thing which we have heard many times from you, uh, our partners, that we have super complicated price list. So even to make a small quotation, it's kind of like headache for you. So one of our initiatives, which I show, which I'm showing you here, is that we are going to change our price books massively, and we want to make them as easy, understandable as possible. 
by this we want to give you you know better asset uh, better uh, quoting tool so that your co cooperation with us is much more flexible and effective and you don't and you yeah, that you are not so dependent on us you know by waiting on the quotes and and etc another important part mainly from marketing view is channel enablement so we want to give to our partners as much support as possible. And here are some major points which, we'll, 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 which we will be focused on. Uh, so first is training. We are going to update our training courses that, uh, you know, from different angles. So not only technical, uh, technical trainings, but also sales, marketing, and with the content which supports channel and partnership growth. Uh, the the campaigns is the second second initiative here, and this uh, what we want to do is we want to be synchronized with a roadmap, and we want to really bring uh, product focus campaigns uh, to land new customers. So we will simply go uh, in in a, in a synchronized way. So once we will see that okay, firewall as a service will be launched, we will prepare also the campaign which will be addressed to the customers uh, potentially interested in in a firewall as a service. And then engagement. By engaging, we mean that uh, we want to. Uh, keep you updated and tuned. Uh, so we will prepare a regular, regular GA5 webinar series. We want to prepare different surveys. Uh, we want to prepare the content for you, the newsletter. And also in case you want to share with us something important or, or exciting, or, or maybe you want to claim something what is uh, super important for you, just let us know and we will prepare one-to-one -one meetings uh, for, the, for the discussion. And based on the feedback, we want to improve also our partner portal so that you are so that it's much more easy for you to find the different information on the partner portal and uh, that is also translated to uh, multiple major languages. Uh, from the customer perspective, we are making the big change as well because we are uh, moving the, the website to totally new CMS. So it will be a heavy change, but we will put a lot of focus on lead flow and the user experience on that, on that new website. So let me wrap up our today's meeting. I hope you really like the content and that you are looking forward to what the near future will bring. We are simply enthusiastic and excited about it. But it is also important to add that everything said here needs to be proven and also countable. And so we will be working really hard to deliver what we promise so that we can grow together. And I believe that 2022 will be a successful year for all of us. So thank you once again for your attention. I appreciate that you spend your time with us and I'm looking forward to a further cooperation with you.